Roger Federer makes surprising omission ahead of latest world number one tilt. 20 time major champion Roger Federer feels under no additional pressure as he attempts to regain the world number one ranking for the third time in 2018 at the Mercedes Cup. Victory over Australian Nick Kyrgios will see arguably the greatest player in the history of men's tennis return to the top of the ATP rankings, replacing French Open champion Rafael Nadal. Federer has already seen off Misha Zverev and Guido Pella this week in Stuttgart in his first matches since March but faces one final hurdle in his quest to reclaim world number one status. Andy Murray to make Queen's participation a decision on Saturday morning Dan Evans handed Queen's wild card as he makes ATP Tour return the end is closer than ever before. Roger Federer opens up on retirement It's very important that I found my rhythm in the quarters for my match against Kyrgios, the 36-year-old admitted. I had no lapses in the quarterfinals which came pretty surprising, given that I took a three-months break. I think it's easier here for me than against Haas in Rotterdam. Maybe because I have already experienced this situation already this year. Anyway, it will be a close affair but in the end I'll try to give my best. If it works out, fine. If not, well, it's not the end of the world either. That pragmatic approach comes as Federer attempts to start next month's Wimbledon as the number one seed. The Swiss will need to be victorious in Stuttgart and in Halle next week to stand any chance of beginning the defense of his title at the top of the men's draw. Roger Federer rates rival Rafael Nadal's chances of winning Wimbledon Roger Federer speaks out on rival Rafael Nadal winning another French Open title How can Roger Federer return to world number one? Whether Federer will be joined at SW19 by Andy Murray remains to be seen as the Briton continues to delay his decision over his comeback from a hip injury. The three-time major champion has not played since last year's Wimbledon due to the problem and is due to make a decision over playing Queens, the traditional warm-up event for the third Grand Slam of the season, on Saturday before the tournament starts next week. The decision will provide a significant indicator as to Murray's chances to figuring at Wimbledon, where he was the champion in 2013 and 2016.